All right, guys, welcome back. Here we are at the third box. Uh, this box starts, I just kind of dropped these in there. New comics. You know, Justice League, this is from DC Comics Rebirth. Uh, Justice League number one. This is where the Superman from po uh, pre-New 52, from the modern age of comics, during Convergence, he, his wife Lois Lane, and their son ended up on the New 52 Earth, uh, and then the New 52 Superman died. And so the pre-New 52 Superman took his place. And this is his first time joining with the Justice League. DC Rebirth, Batman, first appearance of Gotham and Gotham Girl. DC Rebirth, num uh, Flash, number seven. Uh, Flash versus Godspeed. And then we've got Wo uh, Wonder Woman, number 239. I believe this is a Silver Age comic may possibly bronze age wonder woman not sure what issue this is but wonder woman's best friend uh, in order to save wonder woman's life uh, her best friend has to beat her in the uh, tournament of wonder uh, in order to become the new wonder woman this is kind of a popular issue among collectors no cover on this one this is wonder woman uh, volume 39 number 272 from october of 1980 so that would be the, I believe that's the Bronze Age comics. Off to double check. Wonder Woman 225. Wonder Woman 7. 8. 9. Uh, the uh, Queen Hippolyta. Once again, dons the armor of Wonder Woman, and so you got two Wonder Women fighting side by side. Wonder Girl, number 12, from 1987. Wonder Girl, number 2 of 6, of six from 2007. Superman, Secret Files and Origins, 2005. Superman, Aquaman. Fall of Metropolis, Adventures of Superman 514, Future Shocked, Superman number 195, 204, 205, 216, 219, 222, 223. This is where Supergirl leaves Earth in order to find herself. 225. 659. This is where it's kind of told by multiple people uh, about Superman. Uh, Superman meets a uh, Catholic priest. At least I think he's Catholic. He may be a Methodist. But he is wearing the priest collar. Superman's trying to figure out what he should do because people look at him like he's a god or a guardian angel and he's having trouble with this one woman who thinks that he's her personal guardian angel. So she's constantly putting herself in harm's way knowing that Superman's gonna save her and yeah. it, it's a pretty cool story. Uh, 662, 668, 681, New Krypton, 698. For those of you who don't know, this is Monel. This is who was just introduced last week in uh, Supergirl. Then we've got Superman uh, grounded storyline. 701, 702, 703, 711, 712, 713, 714. What Superman Grounded was, Superman Grounded was the last was the last Superman storyline uh, before the New 52, before Flashpoint. Uh, basically, Superman feels he's he needs to reconnect with the people, so he walks across America. And in that time of walking across America, he uh, he finds people like an abused child drug dealers and gangs and stuff like that and just tries to better become a better superman pretty much then you've got superman the new 52 number three 48 
Adventures of Superman number 586. Uh, Lex Luthor gets elected president. 614. 620, 623, 628, 630. This is the issue where Lois Lane gets shot. And Action Comics number 829, Superman vs. Darkseid. This uh, Action Comics, it's the introduction of Mon-El. Um, the Introduction of multiple forms of kryptonite in the modern age. Um, I think before this there was only like green and red kryptonite. Um, eight forty, eight forty one, eight ninety eight. This is after the events of Blackest Night and Brightest Day. Lex Luthor is trying to regain the Orange Lantern. Uh, he was given an Orange Lantern ring at one point in the storyline, um, but when, at the end of the story, uh, he had to give it up, and now he, he wants that power again. War of the Superman. Superman Birthright. This is basically an alternate ver a readaptation of Superman's origin. Uh, the first appearance of Outburst, which is one of my favorite heroes, Superman number 141. Uh, Mitch Anderson from the Death of Superman storyline and the Funeral of, for a Friend storyline uh, is reintroduced as a hero in his own right uh, in the pages of number 141. Um, and he leads the team of the Superman of America. Let's see here. Yeah, see, there's the Superman of America right there. That's better. And we got Death of Superman. This is third printing. Funeral for a Friend, Superman the White Bag, copy. I have multiple copies of this. One that's never been opened, still in the white bag. And one that's been opened. Of issue number 500 of The Adventures of Superman. This is where Superman, after he dies, he goes to the afterlife and uh, comes across Pa Kent. Who had just died from a, or had just had a heart attack, and you know, one of those deals. In fact, that's the issue there. Then we've got the Reign of the Superman storyline. We have the Eradicator Superman. That's the Superman with the uh, visor over his eyes. Steel. Uh, the Cyborg Superman, Hank Henshaw. And uh, Superboy. And then during the whole reign of Superman storyline, you got these issues. And it all comes to a head in this. This is also the issue that um, it leads directly into Emerald Twilight, where uh, Hal, Hal Jordan's city of Coast City gets destroyed by the cyborg henshaw and mongol and uh, massacre he ends up going crazy because of it so this issue right here is what leads directly into that issue 505 this is the first issue after superman comes back from death this is the issue superman versus superboy superman is served with a cease and desist order because uh after he died Superboy claimed rights to the Superman name and, you know, one of those deals. Uh, Night's End. This is after Batman gets his back broken by Bane and John Paul Valley takes over as Batman. 
and then eventually Batman heals his back and he comes back and takes up the mantle of the bats again. Uh, the return of Bruce Wayne. This was after Infinite Cr Crisis, where Darkseid presumably killed Batman with his Omega Beams. Instead of killing Batman, he sends him through time as a Omega Bomb. Uh, he starts off back at the beginning of time, Dawn of the Caveman, uh, and he does a quantum leap, basically, uh, centuries at a time and when he reaches present day he's supposed to explode but the, uh, the Justice League discover what's going on and they stop it from happening then you get uh, Bruce Wayne the road home Batman and Robin this is the beginnings of Batman Incorporated where Bruce Wayne reveals to Gotham City that he uh he is responsible for Batman. He's been secretly funding Batman for years. Um, and that he's now on a mission to make Batman a worldwide symbol rather than just a Gotham City symbol. So he goes on a recruiting spree, recruiting all these different vigilantes all over the world to become members of Batman Incorporated. And during this time, we have two Batman. We have the real Batman, Bruce Wayne, who is going around the world building Batman Incorporated. And then we've got the local Batman at the time, who is Dick Grayson, who took over for Batman when he during Battle for the Cow when everyone thought Batman was dead. And then we got Batman Incorporated. Leviathan Strikes. Batwoman. Batman Odyssey. Uh, Blood of the Demon, Robin, this is the Tim Drake Robin, I used to have the first appearance of Tim Drake as Robin, uh, but I sold it off back when I was starting to get out of comics because I just didn't have the room anymore. Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder, this is from All-Star DC Comics, um, and this is a Frank Miller. This is along the same lines as Batman: The Dark Knight Returns and uh, those comics. Um, Frank Miller has gone on record as saying it's part of the same universe. So, and we've got Azrael, Agent of the Bat. This is John Paul Valley, who was once Batman. He ends up donning the red, his red Batman style armor, red and gold. Then we got Nightwing Year One. Alfred's Return. Uh, Batgirl Year One. Red Robin versus Robin. Uh, that Robin is Damian Wayne, the illegitimate son of Bruce Wayne, and Talia al Ghul, the daughter of Ra's al Ghul. And that Robin, uh, Red Robin, is Tim Drake. Took on the mantle of Red Robin because he feels he failed as a Robin because he was the only Robin who was around when Batman supposedly died. Batman Beyond, number two, three four, five, and six. This is the return of Hush in Batman Beyond. Uh, but it's not the actual Hush. It's actually, I believe, a clone of Dick Grayson. And then Batman Beyond number one from the New 52, I believe. Batman Beyond versus Justice League Beyond. Uh, Batman 473, 474, 477, 
Uh, this is a Gotham Tale, by the way. Batman and Gotham Tale. 478. Uh, Batman 480. 481. 42. 43. 44. 458. I don't know why it's back there. 459. 460, 461, 462, 463, 464, 466, 467, 469, 470, 471, 472, 470, uh, Batman number 365, Batman number 46, this was the end of Jim Gordon as Batman. Bruce Wayne regained his memories and uh, became Batman once more. Uh, this is in the New 52. Um, before Convergence, I wasn't really too fond of Jim Gordon as Batman. Uh, I'm sure it was probably an alright story. I just didn't really give it a chance. Um, this is the only issue from that storyline I picked up, so. Detective Comics, 639, 640, 45. This is when the Jim Gordon Batman uh, joins the Justice League. Superman is depowered at the time. Uh, Shadow of the Bat, number six. I love the artwork, the art style on the Shadow of the Bat. Um, comics. Look at how look at how slick that looks. Then we've got Batman Ten Cent Adventure. Uh, this is the first appearance of can't remember her name now, but it's the first appearance of one of his new sidekicks. Uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, first new solo Batman book since 1940. Shaman. The Legends of the Dark Knight are broken up into books, so you they're they're all like uh, three, two, three, or four part storylines. And they're subtitled. Like this one's gothic. Uh, that's also where Batman Venom came from. Was Legends of the Dark Knight. This one's Faith. Flyer. Destroyer. Family. Blades. Blades, Blades, Destiny, Destiny, Hot House, Turf, Going Sane. This is where uh, Batman disappears, uh, he's believed dead, and Joker, uh, Joker goes sane. He tries to build a real life for himself. Without the makeup, without the killing and everything. And then eventually it's revealed that Batman's back. And Joker returns as well. Uh, he, uh, he In the comic he goes by Joe Kerr. Um, and he ends up getting engaged and all this stuff. So. Gotham Knights. Um, so that's it for box number three. We will be back shortly uh, with box number four.